but you've now grown into a real oh, woman. I'm really so happy to see you again, Auntie. Let me give you a big hug. Of course. I'm so sorry to hear of your mother's death, sweetheart. I loved her so much. Yes. It was terrible, right? Uh -huh. And just on the day of my graduation, just when we were no, all finally Valentina, about to... don't say anything. <sighs> Aunt Celeste, it's best she doesn't talk about it because it's been hard for her. Yes, yes. Fortunately, she can always count on us because, of course, we're always here as her family and we're willing to help her with everything. <laughs> yes, that's true. I mean, if it weren't for us, then this poor girl's problem might have been bigger. Can you imagine losing her mother at such a A real tragedy. Year? If someone deserved to live, it was her. I'm glad to see you, Valentina. Thanks a lot, my cousin. <gasps> Oh, but this so is great. really such a pleasant surprise. <laughs> so wonderful. But you still look the same as when you were a little girl. <laughs> Come here and let me give you another hug. May God always bless you, my darling. May I have the strength to be able to completely fulfill your parents' last wish to ensure your lasting happiness. She can also count on me for whatever she needs, Aunt. Because I'd also like Valentina to be happy. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, Valentina. <laughs> Such a pretty picture you lovebirds make. Oh, Aunt Celeste, do you think that if Valentina and my brother weren't cousins, that they'd make a perfect couple? Huh? Love with Valentina. Who, me? What nonsense are you talking about, for Christ's sakes? Oh, no! Yeah, then why does it seem that you worry about her all the time? Well, you see, sis, it's because the Villanuevas won't leave her alone. Because you know I hate it when they're so unfair to her. Mm -hmm. Franklin, come on, please. I know you too well, brother dear. Every time you see Valentina, I see your eyes fill up with pure love. Come on, don't deny it anymore. I know that you love Valentina, I know it. Yes, dear sister, so I'm in love with Valentina, with that chubby beauty. So, so do you have a problem with that now? What then? No. I knew this could happen, Franklin. I knew it. And somehow I knew that playing the boyfriend of Valentina could make you end up falling in love with her. I don't know, Beatrice. I don't know. I don't know the exact moment it happened, but when it did, it just happened. It must have been the time she was depressed and very sad with what happened to her mother. She was all alone. And when Valentina talks, she talks. So sweetly and looks at you with such tenderness. Jesus, it's impossible for me not to fall for her. Huh? Franklin, but then... You do realize that she doesn't feel the same way, right? I don't know, and I don't care. I don't pretend that, that Valentina would love me the same way, but, but I would be willing to do anything for her. Do anything, Franklin? Yes, anything. What are you talking about? If the villain Revas don't leave her alone, I'd be happy and willing to marry her. What a perfect couple, Orestes and Valentina. Oh, but come on. Well, what's all this nonsense that you're saying now? Girl? Oh, Aunt, don't listen to her. Look, don't even worry about something like that. That will surely never That's happen. Right. Ariana, will you please spare us your stupid little jokes in front of Aunt Celeste? I forbid you to say anything as foolish as that again. Oh, come on, my dear. Leave her alone already. It was just a silly joke. But really now, it looks like none of you has a sense of humor. It's not the end of the world, you know? That's it. The end of the world. How can two cousins possibly fall in love? It's nonsense. It's unthinkable. Oh, you're exactly right about that, Auntie. I think the same way you do, you have nothing to worry about because Orestes and I care for each other simply as cousins. But look, cousin, haven't you heard that line in a song that goes, I can't find this feeling any longer? Stop with your jokes. I think you've gone far enough. In my family, we show respect for each other. Not here in this house, Aunt Celeste, because no one here respects anybody. Do you see what you get with that attitude? Oh, well, that's enough. I know that Valentina isn't capable of falling in love with Orestes. Is that right, cousin? Well, but of course not. <sighs> oh, my goodness. If Ariana shows them my diary, I'll be dead meat. But if she does, then I'll swear I'll scoop her eyes out. What do you think, my dear? For me, I just find it very weird hmm. that Mrs. Olympia is so concerned about Roque. After all, he was just out for one day. One day. Hmm. So what's wrong if she cares for him and that she shows it once in a while, huh? Uh, I don't think that Snake knows how to care. That's beside the point. Hmm. I think those two have some... <laughs> but... <gasps> but Ninfa, stop thinking bad of everyone. Girl, you could be sued for being a liar. Oh, so you're calling me a liar? No way, my dear. I'm just fond of a little gossip now and then, but never, never will I be a little bot kisser like you. Who are you calling a bot kisser? Who are hey, you hey, 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 come on, come on. What's with you, me, two huh? women? You look like a pair of hyenas fighting over some food. You keep your mouth shut. Oh. And I mean especially you, Nipper. You better watch out, girl. Because you and I have some unfinished business between us.
What's this, Daniel Eduardo? What's all this money I see? Oh, for Christ's sake, dear Lord, where did you get all this money, huh? I told you, Mom, the money's from Mama Dolores. And what do you mean by that? Okay, wait. Do you think I'm stupid or what? You think I'm going to believe that Mama Dolores came down from heaven and gave you all this money? <laughs> no, of course not. I found it sitting there on the side roof of the hostel. Oh, no, my baby. Let me think for a while. Oh, this can't be, but of course, but of course. That money could have been from that criminal living at the hostel. No, 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 mother. This money is mine, and I'm giving it all to you so that you won't have to go out and look for a job. No, I won't. Come here, Daniel Eduardo. Come here, boy. What's with you? Are you crazy? Huh? You know what? I'm not accepting the tainted money, and I forbid you, and you listen closely, boy. I forbid you to even touch that money. Oh, no, don't worry, Orestes. I'm so used to your sister's comments that they just don't bother me at all. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? One of these days, you should have her locked up in jail by your friend the super cop. Mm, better stop with the jokes, Orestes. You know I don't like to use people that way. Oh, yeah. Isn't it strange that he's not here because lately he's been acting like your bodyguard? Well, then, because he's the type of person who's very respectful and he knows that this is a family reunion. What you should worry about right now, Orestes, is that your girlfriend, Chicky, isn't here yet. Oh, she'll be here any minute. She's just never been a very punctual person. Mm. Yes. Mm. I imagine that she's like, like almost part of the family because you guys are getting married soon, right? Well, I should think so. I guess someday that's bound to happen. Now tell me something. Do you really think that I should marry Chiki? Oh, come on, Orestes. You know I have no say in that matter because you're the one who'll have to deal with her for the rest of your life. Oh my, you've become such a fighter, haven't you, Valentina? But you know what, I don't care, because I'm happy to see you here tonight. You know, I've actually got a surprise for you. You have a surprise? For me? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the champagne for our dear Celeste. Now that we're all here together, let's give a toast to the reunion of this wonderful family. But wait a minute, I don't think our family is complete. Since I arrived, I haven't seen Achilles. Where's my grandnephew right now? I really don't think I belong here, Vicente. Look, man, if you want to stay, you can stay, but I'm leaving. But hold on, hold on, come back here. I can't understand what's gotten into you, my friend. This is the place, Achilles. I don't know, but just relax a little. This is the place where you can be yourself and do what you want, and no one will question you. I don't know, buddy. I'm just not used to this. I've never been to a place like this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, since this is your first time here, okay, I think you should relax and take it easy. You know, get yourself a drink and in a moment, you know, things will look better and you might even enjoy the place, you know. Come on, cheers. Come on, drink up. Come on. I guess you're maybe right about that, man. I guess I really need a drink. And don't just sit there, my man. Let's party because the best cure for stress is to party. Let's dance and forget everything, okay? Come on, come on. Presente. <sighs> now I know why you disappeared. We're on your honeymoon? Watch what you say, man. You hear me? We talked about this, okay? We're over it. It's goodbye, man. They are leaving me just like that for this guy? Hey, hold on, man. What's wrong with you? Are Not you crazy? crazy. I just don't like me mess around with. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, man? You should learn to respect what's not yours, okay? The police. I wonder what they're looking for around here. Now it looks like a false alarm again. Your informer's got it wrong again this time. Come huh. on, you know some people can make mistakes. But they told me this place was a secret club. Secret club? I don't think so. This doesn't look like a secret club at all. Oh, Just take well, a look I'm at sorry. that guy over there. Let's go, boys. Come on. <laughs> okay, everybody, freeze! Nobody move! <laughs> can someone please tell me where my grandnephew is now? I think we better talk about that some other time, Aunt Celeste. Well, I think we should talk about it now, Dad. Aunt Celeste has every right to know what's going on with the family. I already gave my last word on it. Don't dare contradict me, Orestes. Uncle, I, I hope you'll forgive me for saying this, but then... Achilles could be in grave danger staying out there on the streets, and we don't even have an idea where he's staying. But he's your son, and my grandnephew. He should be right here celebrating with us tonight. Who knows what could have happened to him? He spoiled and had one of his mood swings on Celeste, and nothing serious. You know how kids are acting nowadays. Well, then, with all good reason that he should be home. I mean, this is such a terrible world that we live in, filled with danger. Well, then, you see, Achilles left the house for good because he had a little argument with his father. But then, but then he'll be back home, so no need to worry. That's such a lie. Achilles is never coming back home, and you all know it. Andorra, I forbid you to even talk about this issue in front of your aunt. But I don't understand. This is no justification for that boy to be out on the street. There, Aunt Celeste. Come on, let's sit down here. Sit down. And I promise you everything will be fine. 
Orestes, I'm so worried and I really don't like what's happening. Have you heard anything new about Achilles? No, not yet, but I'm working on it. And my dad will just have to learn to accept it. Because I plan to bring Achilles back home. And the same goes for you. Oh, stop it. You know, there's no way that you can convince me. Mm. Don't you know that when I set my mind on something, I'll eventually get it no matter what. I won't give up until you're back home here. Well, I don't think that your mother will be very happy with the idea. Well, whether you believe it or not, she's willing to make a deal. But what kind of deal? Good evening, everybody! <laughs> Look, there's your girlfriend. What are you waiting for? You should go over there and say hello. Everybody stay put. If someone moves, I'll shoot. We got caught. Put your hands in the air, in the air, where I can see them. But I didn't Search do anything. them right now. I didn't do anything. Really? And what were you doing? Why did you run? What kind of game were you playing, boys? I didn't do anything. Punk, you here? Stay for it. That's it. You'll start telling me right now what's going on in there. What happened to this party of yours? Two guys are fighting inside, and one of them has a knife. <laughs> Get out of my way, you jerk. I'm not looking for trouble with anyone, especially with guys like you. Damn you, jerk. You hit me. Just so you learn some respect, man. Well, go ahead and stick that knife in me now. Let's Just get out of here. You should tell that to your big shot friend over there. Because I didn't do anything, man. What's wrong with that guy? Don't play the innocent with me, because it's your fault. Vicente left me. Get out of here, Achilles. This guy is really dangerous. Please. I don't give a get damn anymore. Now. My life isn't worth anything anyway. I'm not afraid of dying. So what's wrong with you, Free? Bring it on. But of course I just had to come over and see you, Aunt Celeste. It's been so long since I last saw you. You're so beautiful. Oh, for God's sake, if you'd like to spend some time with me, you don't have to go on and lie. You won't believe it, but I was supposed to pay you a little visit the last time I was in Spain where we had so much fun. Well then, you know that my house is always open for my grandnephew's girlfriend. You're welcome to come anytime you want. Don't encourage her, Aunt. You just might regret your invitation later. Oh, my sweetie. Why don't we use this moment while their aunt is here to announce our engagement? What? No, no, no. Don't use the situation, Chiki. Aunt Celeste is not in a partying mood. Oh, but I'd be delighted. Not only by the engagement. I've dreamed that someday you would marry such a beautiful girl like oh, her. Oh, how sweet. I don't understand how my brother can stand her. Instead of a brain, she's got popcorn up there. Um, well, maybe he must really be in love with her. Besides, you know what? They sometimes say that love is blind, but with him, it looks like the love is also deaf. <laughs> no, I think my brother can be in love with her. Of course he is. My brother is very much in love. He is very much in love with his girlfriend. Can't you see that? His weakness is sexy, skinny girls. Well, then I hope he doesn't choke on one of those skinny bones. Excuse me. So then Aunt Celeste came to visit to watch over your shoulder, am I right? Oh, no. She's here to look after the interests of Valentina. Excuse me, Uncle. It's just that I'm sorry, but I have a big problem, and you're the only person who can help me solve it. No, 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 Franklin. Here you go. Take your money and save it now. No, I just can't charge you not even one more cent. Uh, because you're part of my family. You've always helped me with all the expenses that's here. That's exactly why, Godmother. What's a family for but to help one another during difficult times, right? Mm -hmm. Over my dead body. Because you guys would need that too. Oh, God, sister. Look, it's not the money that's important. It's your health. So go on and take this. You're going to need it. Oh, well, thank you so much, God, sister. Right now, I'm trying to really cut down on everything, on all my budget and expenses. You all know that I have to support my Valentina. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Aunt Sasa. I know that Valentina's schooling is expensive, so I wanted to share with you some of my savings that you can use for the tuition fee of Valentina. No, I really have to say no, Franklin. I really can't accept that. Oh, Franklin, it's good that you're here. My boy and I have something very important to ask you. I need you to clear up this mystery for me, okay? But what's the problem, Consuelo? What can I do for you? Bingo, Valionelia, but what the hell is this, man? I think it's called a gay bar, sir. I'm sorry to say that we'll have to search this place from top to bottom. Martinez! Search the whole place and let's see what we can find here, huh? Let's go! Identification all of you! Up against the wall! Don't you gay try anything, you hear me? Let's go, all of you! Move it! Move it! Right now! Oh no, it's that policeman again. And he has to find me here of all places. Gosh, how lucky can I get? Damn you. I'm not going down for this. That bastard. Better tell me who's been making trouble and threatening people with a knife. It was him. He was really the one. He started all of this, man. Who? Who? Him. Look. You. <laughs> Look here. You better surrender the knife. I don't have anything. The only one looking for trouble is that guy there. Valdinelia, take this one and let's see what he knows, huh? <sighs> Rosales. Look, there's the knife. Oh boy, now you're really screwed. <laughs> so you're the guilty one, huh? Huh? Turn around. But it wasn't him, man. It wasn't him. Villanueva. It's you again, huh? My 
God, but this is a fortune. I've never seen so much money in my whole life. And all in one time. But well, you see, see, if you don't win the lottery, then where did you get so much money? Oh, Consuela, could it be that Edgar is mixed up in some kind of illegal business? No, my dear, what do you mean? That money isn't from him. Besides, he just called me earlier, and he said he won't be able to support me. What? But that good for nothing, how dare you do that? Oh, this cannot stay like this. We're going to talk with Pacheco so he can report this to the civil court. No, sweetie. I won't force anybody to do what he doesn't want to do right. Besides, let him do as he pleases. Anyway, I'm already on my own, and I can take very good care of my boy. Oh, my dear Consuelo, but, but if you didn't win all that money, my dear... Oh, don't tell me you did something you shouldn't have, sweetie. Oh, don't be silly. Really, what's wrong with you? Look, I'd prefer to go out on the streets to beg from people that I don't know rather than get involved with whatever you're thinking. Oh, that's why I wanted to give this to you, Franklin. Here, take it. Go on, take but, uh, it. But, Consuelo, what do I have to do with this? But where did you get all this money? I found it at the back alley. So this money belongs to Caragato? Look, man, it's not what you Forget think. it, Villanueva. Don't start giving me any of your stories, because I'm not buying it. Man, I already told you I didn't do anything. That knife isn't mine, and I wasn't making any trouble. Look here, kid. Whatever people do with their lives is not my problem. But so far, you've been in too many problems all the time that I'm just Hold sick of Hold on a minute. This isn't what it looks like, man. I came here because my friend invited me. Yeah, I'm sure, and you stayed out of curiosity, Look, right? Look, the truth is I would never go to a place like this. See here, Villanueva, you'll have to tell your story at the station because you're now under arrest. But what for, man? I didn't do anything. He was the one who put the knife to my throat. He wanted to cut me up. Are you crazy or something because I caught you with that knife? Are you giving me another one of your wild stories, boy? Let's go, little birdie. <laughs> Off to your cage. Leave him alone. I'll take care of this little birdie. Is that clear, Villanueva? But what do you mean? What are you talking about? Exactly what you heard, Uncle. I want to start working. But you don't even have to do that, Valentina. If it's money that Thank you need, you. all you have to do is just ask me. Or we can easily make arrangements, something like an allowance. Including the inheritance that belongs to you and the money that you put in the trust fund, we could arrange something so you can get some money from it also. No, Uncle, I mean, it's not just the money. I want to feel useful and to learn to make money on my own. Oh, well, that's so good and very noble of you. <laughs> but I insist you don't need to do that. It's nonsense. Well, then, I've already made up my mind. And if you can't help me find a job, then I'll have to find one on my own. No, wait, wait, wait. There's no need for that. As long as I still have the advertising agency, you'll always have a job. So does that mean that... What that means is that your Aunt Celeste will be very upset with me, but I don't care, as long as you're hired. <laughs> so I'll expect you to report for work tomorrow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wanted to give it to my mother, because my father left us and she needs it. Oh, my sweet little boy, do you know what? I feel so lucky because I have you. Then, you know, I just can't accept that money you found, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, my sweetie, look, all you have to do is to thank God for the mother that you have. Take it easy and everything will work out all right in time, you know. Your mother did the right thing, boy. This is evidence of a crime and it has to be turned in. <laughs> oh, my love. Better stop uh, that. Are you insane? They want everybody here to find out that I'm having an affair. It's just that I can't bear to be away from you, can't you see that? You look more beautiful than ever. <sighs> Go and sweet talk your wife. We all know she needs it badly. Hmm? I think she would be glowing now that you're back together again. <laughs> well, I guess, Olympia, you haven't heard the complete story. Maybe that's why you're so green with jealousy. I did come back, that's true. But I'm sleeping by myself in the guest room. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. Did she send you there, or did you go by yourself? You know perfectly well when it comes to my bed, I'm the one who rules. And I only go there only whenever I want to. By the way, your designer asked me to tell you that he has several outfits waiting for you to try on. Oh, really? Hmm? Well, tell him to just sit and wait for my call. I'll see if I can find a space in my agenda. <laughs> you should stop punishing me always. You know perfectly well, Olympia, who that woman is that I want to be with. Oh, really, Lorenzo? Hmm? And I'm also very curious to know who that mystery woman is. So you start working tomorrow with your uncle? At the agency. Me? As a big shot executive? But then, my uncle didn't actually tell me what I'm going to do. Oh, now you really have gone completely insane. Do you know that? But why? Because I want to work, there's nothing wrong with that. If you only want to work, then there's nothing wrong. It's just that your uncle's agency, that's where Orestes works too. <gasps> Oh, Ninfa, I completely forgot about that. I think you purposely forgot about that. You want to forget him, but, well, now he's going to be in your face every day. Oh, oh no.
no, can you imagine? Oh no, I'm going to have a heart attack. I swear, I feel like... I need to talk to you, cousin dear. Alone, please. <laughs> and what do you want to talk to me about, Chicky? I'd like you to explain to me what right do you have to set your sights on my loving boyfriend? <laughs> but of course, he was talking about you, Cremella. You are the one and only woman that Lorenzo really wants because he just told me so. What? Lorenzo really said that? <gasps> Sweetheart, is that really true? Well, then, the truth is... What I was just telling Olympia was that... very happy because he can go back home to you. <laughs> go on, give oh, him a my hug. Darling. My sweetheart. <laughs> Look, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Don't go about. playing dumb on me, chubby girl. I think you know perfectly well. You're in love with my Orestes, and you better explain that to me now. Let me remind you that I also have a boyfriend, and his name is Franklin Carreño, and who it looks to me you're not very fond of. Because that guy is so stupid. A conceited jerk, and he's just a low-life bully. Hey, wait. Watch out. They say that between love and hate, there's just a small gap. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I will never fall for or look twice at someone like that low-life policeman, even in anger. <laughs> but I guess that's okay for you. Because you can't expect to get a better boyfriend for yourself. So you'll have to settle for whoever comes along. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm so relieved. Because I doubt very much if you will look twice at someone as artificial as you. See here, darling girl. A real man for me is Orestes. And don't tell me that you're not in love with him because I read it in your diary. <gasps> My diary! Look, Chicky, you'd better be careful Dinner's with it. ready to be served. Let's all go to the dining room. And I what's would... wrong, Valentina? Do you have a problem with my son's girlfriend? No, not at all. It seems that she's the one who has a problem with me. No, man. I already told you no, man. I told you no. You can put me in jail if you want, but that knife isn't mine. When we found that knife near you, it looks like you want to stay in here, boy. Yordi, open the door. I have some good news for you. Open up. Who would have Come thought on, that you, up. my boy, could have this habit for trouble? Look what I got here, my man. The money hidden by Caricato at the hostel, Jordi. Now those guys are totally screwed. Hey, that's great, my man. But I also have a small surprise waiting for you. Take a look at what the cat brought in. What's this guy doing here? We're gathered here, all the Villanuevas, laughing and eating together at the table. It's as if we're a happy family who loved each other dearly. However, there are so many lies, so much hate. I wish I could change all that, but it's impossible. And I can't get away from them either. Maybe I should try and do the same thing that Aunt Sasa did. Go out and get myself a new family. A family of friends so I won't have to feel lonely. Everybody, everybody. I would like to make a toast of good health for Aunt Celeste. <laughs> Thank you, Olympia. But if you'll all allow me, I really would like to make a toast of my own on behalf of my niece, Valentina. Well done, Aunt Celeste. Because in spite of everything, my cousin has a spirit to come back home to the Villanuevas. Oh, yes, yes. As my dear sister has so graciously put it to a very brave cousin. For you, my dear. And for a beautiful future that awaits you. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Celeste. I hope God gives you a whole lot of years of a wonderful life. <laughs> I'll drink to that. For a very long and fruitful life for my Aunt Celeste. And much happiness to you, Valentina. Oh, that's so sweet. After all of this, I would like to make a toast in the name of love. Carmella, will you please stop? You're not supposed to toast on anything at all. Shh. For a more united family, and for a mutual respect, and for whatever trials that may happen, May we always find the chance to be together again. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Oh, well, but then you'll all have to excuse me now because it's late and I have to leave. Uh, I can take you home, Valentina. One moment, Orestes. But you are not going anywhere. You're not her personal chauffeur. Benigno can take her home. Valentina is my cousin and I can give her a ride, all right? But you can get up. Please, I don't... I don't understand why you would get upset. Orestes is only going to take his cousin home. Of course, <laughs> will you please, Chicken Kira? Don't be so jealous. What will Aunt Celeste think that you don't like our Valentina? Oh, what's with this woman tonight? She's way too friendly. So, cousin, shall we go? <laughs> hmm. 
I have given you up. It was impossible. Oh, it was a feeling driven by fantasy, of places inaccessible, a nearness to faraway dreams. But it's now over, Wanangel. Today is the last day. Because I promise to forget you. It's all over. I can't let myself think of you. I can just sit and set aside my whole life and being, waiting here for you. And loving you. But it's over now. I promise I'll forget you. Today is the day. The last day, Wanangel. Godmother? Godmother? Are you in love with Mr. Wanangel? Go and tell Carmela that she can count on our donation so that she can help save the shelter. Of course, but if she had talked to me earlier, we could have put up a foundation and a campaign to collect funds. Well, she then. just loves doing charity work. Well, then you can count on my donation as well. Oh, Lorenzo, <laughs> there are very few women in this world like the one you have beside you. <laughs> You're right about that, Celeste. My wife really is unique. Nobody does the things the way she does them. Hello, Villanueva Residence. Good evening. I'm calling from the Central Police Station. Is that you again, you creep? I told you never to bother me again. Hey, hey, hey. Just hold on for a minute there, young lady. I'm calling because your brother Achilles was arrested tonight. What? I just can't believe it, Godmother. That you're in love with Mr. Wanang Hell. Just all of my life, my dear. I've been keeping that secret well guarded for a long time that I didn't even tell your mother, who's my best friend. Godmother, did you know that... You know, I always thought that you had a secret love hidden somewhere. But I never would have guessed in a million years that it could actually be that man. Listen, Godmother, but... But does he know about this? Did you ever tell him? Oh, of course not. No, I would simply die of embarrassment if one angel found out. Besides, he wasn't the man that was meant for me. Of course. Of course, because he's already married. To that rich, snobbish lady, Mrs. Olympia, right, Oh, Godmother? that's not the only reason, my dear. The worst thing is knowing that Juan Angel is still in love with that idiot of a woman. Godmother, he was the main reason why you decided to quit acting, right? You see, I made a promise to St. Anthony. If he gave me the love of my life, then I would abandon the stage forever. Even if it meant up to the very last minute of my life. And do you think that promise still stands? No. No, Juan Angel has disappointed me. He's not the man that I thought he was. Godmother, listen. Please don't just give up now, Godmother. You have to learn to fight. Because if someone deserves some happiness in this world, it's you, Godmother. I don't think so, sweetheart. I'm really very sorry, my dear. But then that, that dream that I had will just disappear. I've already given up on Juan Angel Villanueva, and I'll never know the whole truth of just how much I loved him. And now, I have to let go of my love for him forever. No, I can't believe that's true. What happened? Well, don't get upset, my sweet little lollipop. Your brother was brought to the station because he was caught in a fight with another guy. But why? My brother was never a criminal, and I'm sure you're just being unfair to him. That's a negative, my sweet little princess dear. You see, we caught your brother in a very legal police raid. No, I don't believe you. Where was the raid and why? In like a gay club where a fight started. And we had to search the place because we found a lot of suspicious-looking guys or gays who were in there. No, I don't believe you. That's not true. No, uh, I think it's better that you don't come inside Orestes because if my Aunt Sasa wakes up and finds you here, she'll be Just very upset with me. Just give me a moment, me. my pretty chubby girl. I promise I'll go in no, a while. No, Orestes, it's not right that you and I would be in the dark all alone. Besides, what would your snotty girlfriend think about that? Oh, really? And what would your super cop boyfriend think? Maybe he'll grab me and shoot me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I really don't want to have any problems. Bye, go Hold on. Hold on, what's wrong, Valentina? What? Why do you seem so afraid of him? Oh, no, I'm not afraid of him. How could you say that, Orestes? Of course not. The thing is that I know he wouldn't like it if he found me with another man here. You know, in the dark, you know, I'm going to turn on the light. No, 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 leave it like that, because it's just perfect for the, um, for the surprise I have for you. Hmm? You have a surprise? Uh -huh. uh, uh, oh, no, I don't think I like this at all. I know you'll change your mind as soon as you find out what it is. Trust me, it wasn't easy to get it, but I finally did. Hold on. <gasps> the silver lily, Orestes! Mm -hmm. You finally found it! <gasps> I'm 
I'm so mad I wish they all burn in hell, girlfriend. And to top it all off, his mother was on her side. Oh, no, girl. Don't sweat it. You see, my mother was all strategy, and only that, you know, just to win points with Aunt Celeste. Again. Are you pretty sure? Because I got the impression that my future mother-in-law is beginning to like that fatty girl. Never in all her life, my dear. My mother absolutely hates that fat girl as much as we do. Come on, but you saw how Arresta stood up in a split second just to take her home. Yes, but it's just like what you said. Because he feels sorry for her, like, in a brotherly, charitable way. I don't think my brother would like the idea of kissing a greasy elephant like that. Ooh, gross. Oh, Yuck. my friend. <sighs> Thanks a million. Oh, you really are a great friend, girl. Oh, girlfriend. You see, girlfriend, I have to tell you something that happened today. What's with the sad face? Oh, no, girlfriend. It looks, it looks really serious. Come on and tell me. Okay, okay. I really don't know if... If I'm really doing the right thing here, girlfriend, but... Oh, girlfriend. Something really ugly happened to me today with your boyfriend. Orestes, the silver lily! The silver lily that my mother gave me as a gift! That's exactly it. Do you like my surprise? Oh my... Oh my goodness, I can't believe it! Oh, oh Orestes... You finally found it! You finally found it! And I would have found it much earlier, but I ran into some complications. Do you know what pleases me? It's to see you very happy. Oh, Orestes, I'm just so emotional. It's enough to see that sparkle in your eyes. And it's yours. That's why it came back to you. Do you want me to put it on you? Oh, please, will you? <laughs> So what's your answer, Valentina? Will you marry me? Oh yes, Orestes. I want to be your wife and spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Something happened to you with my boyfriend? What is it, Chiki? Oh, please tell me you won't get mad at me, girlfriend, but it's just that I have to tell you about it. Okay, well, then start talking. Tell me right now. Let it out. All right, but but then you'll have to promise me something first. Oh, girlfriend, it's like you're going to confess a big state secret. Oh, girlfriend, this is really serious. You see, our friendship is very important to me. It means a lot to me, too, but I'm beginning to be suspicious of this mystery. You have to tell me now, Chiki, will you please? Well, then, all right. But then you have to promise me whatever happens, you'll always be my oh, friend. Oh, Chiki, come on. I'll promise you anything you want. But please, will you start telling me now or I'll have a heart attack? What were you saying about Roman? Did you learn something bad about him? Well, no, no, no. Not exactly, but... But you see, what happened today with Roman was that... Hey, hey, hi, Chiki Chiki. Were you talking about me? The Villanuevas took Valentina again, my man. I'd like to know how many times will this go on until they leave her alone? But what did you do, man, when that was her uncle, huh? What's up with you, man? Better listen to me, Franklin. I think you're being too serious with this going steady thing with Valentina, you hear me? What if it wasn't a joke like what you said between Valentina and I? What if Valentina and I decided to make things formal? Will they also deal with me? Well, I don't know, but maybe in this case you're the authority. But listen closely to me, boss. Family always comes first. Just don't get in her way, you know. <laughs> it looks like you got yourself a beating at the mansion of the Villanuevas. Boss, those people are very, very powerful. <clears throat> oh, what is this? I will never ever let you go, and I will never ever stop loving you. I love you, Valentina. Valentina? What? What did you say? I said I'll call you. I'll call you every chance I get so I can ask how you are, if you don't mind, of course. Of course, of... Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, what was that? Uh-oh, I think it's starting to rain again. I guess I'd better hurry on home. I'll see you. Orestes. Do you remember when we were little kids? When we used to run and play around the garden under the pouring rain? <laughs> yes. And Uncle Segundo would come running around behind us. And he kept shouting, Run, Valentina, run faster! <laughs> And we wouldn't pay any attention to him because he would just continue running and end up in a puddle covered in mud from head to toe. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Don't ever stop laughing. <laughs> but why? Because you look so pretty. <laughs> oh, you liar. But it's true. Listen, you may not believe me, but I care about you a lot. Hmm? <laughs> 
Thank you, Orestes. Thank you very much. Sometimes true happiness is a lot closer than you think it is. What are you saying, my pretty chubby girl? Do you know what true happiness is? <laughs>
Look, I'm not buying that. I'm sure that my girlfriend saw you fooling around with another woman. And if I'm right, I'll never forgive you, Roman. No, 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 never. No, wait a minute. Take that idea out of your head, please. Don't you know you're the only woman in my life? Did you drive me crazy? You better be, Roman. Because if you're not mine, you can't be anybody else's. Mariana Margarita! What kind of outrageous behavior is this? A lie. It must be a lie from that police officer. I can't believe that my brother did something bad. Poor Achilles. I can't let him stay in jail all night long with a bunch of criminals that... who knows what they'd do to him. I have to get him out of there. Miss Pandora, you sent for me? Yes, Ninfa. I really need your help. Oh, my help? Really? What can I do? It's just that I have a really big problem. And I need you to help me get out of the house right now. At this late hour? Oh, but girl, what for and why? The police officer called me Ninfa. My brother Achilles is in jail. <gasps> no need to get upset, Aunt Celestia. I can explain. You don't call me Aunt. I'm not part of your family. And whoever gave you the permission to speak openly to me? I don't even know who you are, you shameless, rude young man. Well, you're right, ma'am. My name is Roman Fonseca, Ariana's boyfriend. Roman Fonseca? The son of the ex-minister who had to leave the country because of all this corruption? Hmm. How horrible, Ariana. Why couldn't you choose a better candidate from a better family? Oh, aunt, please don't treat him that way, the poor thing. Besides, Roman and I are already engaged, and we plan to get married soon. And, well, what happened with his father was a scandal, hmm. a political revenge. Only time will tell. From now on, young lady, I don't want to see any more of these scenes like the one I just saw. Why are you still here? Why don't you leave? It's too late to still be in someone else's house. I see, ma'am, but then I just got here. I always visit Ariane at this time. Well, I guess you better start visiting earlier. From now on, everyone will start walking on the right side of the road in this house. Is that clear? Oh, but that's impossible. You can't leave the house at this late hour. Were you listening to what I said, Ninfa? My brother was arrested in a raid and he's now in jail. Are you sure? It could just be a friend playing a trick on you. No, Ninfa, it wasn't a joke, you hear? It was a police officer that I know who called to give me the news. Oh my god. And where was your brother when they got him and arrested him, huh? That's not your problem, Ninfa. What I need from you is to help me get out of this house. Oh dear, I don't think that's a good idea. Why don't you call your police friend and tell him you'll be there tomorrow? But why? That means I leave Achilles in jail all but night long? Tell your friend to take care of him for you. Listen to me, miss. If you leave now, the whole family is going to find out. And then you'll have to tell your mother and your father the truth, that Achilles is in jail. Well, you know, God sister, our little girl came back. Good morning. Oh, good morning, my precious little darling. It's so good nice morning. to see you. You know, I thought that Aunt Celeste would have convinced you to stay with the Villanueva family. Oh, no, Aunt, of course not. I don't think I'll ever leave you. Not only because I feel great here, but also, well, you know, being with you is like being with my mother. <laughs> oh, sweetie. <laughs> and nobody else has gotten up yet? <laughs> me, my dear sweetheart, me. My dear, you look so pretty, my fatty. <laughs> oh, young lady, may I ask just where you're going looking so good like that? M me? Well, uh, well, I'm going to the universities to see when they'll be posting the grades of the exam. Good morning, everyone. Good, good, morning. good morning, Franklin. Franklin. How are you today? <laughs> oh, wait, son, let me pour no, you No, Mommy, juice. relax. I'm in a hurry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, but hey there, young man. Aren't you forgetting to give a good morning kiss to your Valentina? <laughs> no, Sasa. Valentina doesn't like my kisses. She prefers someone else's. Valentina Villanueva, what kiss was Franklin talking about? And did you really allow another man to kiss you? But you've now grown into a real uh -huh. woman. I'm really so happy to see you again, Auntie. Well, let me give you a big hug. Of course. I'm so sorry to hear of your mother's death, sweetheart. I loved her so much. Yes. 
It was terrible, right? Mm -hmm. And just on the day of my graduation, just when we were no, all finally Valentina, about to... don't say anything. <sighs> Aunt Celeste, it's best she doesn't talk about it, because it's been hard for her. Yes, yes. Fortunately, she can always count on us, because, of course, we're always here as her family, and we're willing to help her with everything. <laughs> yes, that's true. I mean, if it weren't for us, then this poor girl's problem might have been bigger. Can you imagine losing her mother at such a A real tragedy. Age? If someone deserved to live, it was her. I'm glad to see you, Valentina. Thanks a lot, my cousin. Oh, but this so is great. really such a pleasant surprise. So, so wonderful. But you still look the same as when you were a little girl. <laughs> Come here and let me give you another hug. May God always bless you, my darling. May I have the strength to be able to completely fulfill your parents' last wish to ensure your lasting happiness. She can also count on me for whatever she needs, Ab. Because I'd also like Valentina to be happy. I'm so glad you're here, Valentina. <laughs> Such a Two. Oh, well, that's enough. I know that Valentina isn't capable of falling in love with Orestes. Is that right, cousin? Well, but of course not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If Ariana shows them my diary, I'll be dead meat. But if she does, then I'll swear I'll scoop her eyes out. What do you think, my dear? For me, I just find it very weird hmm. that Mrs. Olympia is so concerned about Roque. After all, he was just out for one day. One day. Hmm. So what's wrong if she cares for him, and that she shows it once in a while, huh? Uh, I don't think that Snake knows how to care. That's beside the point. Hmm. I think those two have some... <laughs> but... <gasps> but Ninfa, stop thinking bad of everyone. Girl, you could be sued for being a liar. Oh, so you're calling me a liar? No way, my dear. I'm just fond of a little gossip now and then, but never, never will I be a little bot kisser like you. Who are you calling a bot kisser? Who are hey, you hey, 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 come on, come on. Huh? Tell me, you huh? two women. You look like a pair of hyenas fighting over some food. You keep your mouth shut. Oh. And I mean especially you, Nipper. You better watch out, girl. Because you and I have some unfinished business between us. What's this, Daniel Eduardo? What's all this money I see? Oh, for Christ's sake, dear Lord. Where did you get all this money, huh? I told you, Mom. The money's from Mama Dolores. And what do you mean by that? Okay, wait. Do you think I'm stupid or what? You think I'm going to believe that Mama Dolores... For me not to fall for her. Huh? Franklin, but then... You do realize that she doesn't feel the same way, right? I don't know, and I don't care. I don't pretend that, that Valentina would love me the same way, but, but I would be willing to do anything for her. Do anything, Franklin? Yes, anything. What are you talking about? If the villain Revos don't leave her alone, I'd be happy and willing to marry her. What a perfect couple, Orestes and Valentina. Oh, but come on. Well, what's all this nonsense that you're saying now? Girl? Oh, Aunt, don't listen to her. Look, don't even worry about something like that. That will surely never That's happen. Right. Ariana, will you please spare us your stupid little jokes in front of Aunt Celeste? I forbid you to say anything as foolish as that again. Oh, come on, my dear. Leave her alone already. It was just a silly joke. But really now, it looks like none of you has a sense of humor. It's not the end of the world, you know? That's it. The end of the world. How can two cousins possibly fall in love? It's nonsense. It's unthinkable. Oh, you're exactly right about that, Auntie. I think the same way you do, you have nothing to worry about because Orestes and I care for each other simply as cousins. But look, cousin, haven't you heard that line in a song that goes, I can't find this feeling any longer? Stop with your jokes. I think you've gone far enough. In my family, we show respect for each other. Not here in this house, Aunt Celeste, because no one here respects anybody. Do you see what you get with that added... Pretty picture you lovebirds make. Oh, Aunt Celeste... Do you think that if Valentina and my brother weren't cousins, that they'd make a perfect couple? In love with Valentina? Who, me? What nonsense are you talking about, for Christ's sakes? Oh, no! Yeah, then why does it seem that you worry about her all the time? Well, you see, sis, it's because the villain Revas won't leave her alone. Because, you know, I hate it when they're so unfair to her. Mm -hmm. Franklin, come on, please. I know you too well, brother dear. Every time you see Valentina, I see your eyes fill up with pure love. Come on, don't deny it anymore. I know that you love Valentina. I know it. Yes, dear sister, so I'm in love with Valentina, with that chubby beauty. So, so do you have a problem with that now? What then? No. I knew this could happen, Franklin. I knew it. And somehow I knew that playing the boyfriend of Valentina could make you end up falling in love with her. I don't know, Beatrice. I don't know. I don't know the exact moment it happened, but when it did, it just happened. It must have been the time she was depressed and very sad with what happened to her mother. She was all alone. And when Valentina talks, she talks. 
so sweetly and looks at you with such tenderness. Jesus, it's impossible. This came down from heaven and gave you all this money? <laughs> no, of course not. I found it sitting there on the side roof of the hostel. Oh, no, my baby. Let me think for a while. Oh, this can't be, but of course, but of course. That money could have been from that criminal living at the hostel. No, 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 mother. This money is mine, and I'm giving it all to you so that you won't have to go out and look for a job. No, I won't. Come here, Daniel Eduardo. Come here, boy. What's with you? Are you crazy? Huh? You know what? I'm not accepting the tainted money. And I forbid you, and you listen closely, boy. I forbid you to even touch that money. Oh, no, don't worry, Orestes. I'm so used to your sister's comments that they just don't bother me at all. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? One of these days, you should have her locked up in jail by your friend the super cop. Mm, better stop with the jokes, Orestes. You know I don't like to use people that way. Oh, yeah. Isn't it strange that he's not here because lately he's been acting like your bodyguard? Well, then, because he's the type of person who's very respectful and he knows that this is a family reunion. What you should worry about right now, Orestes, is that your girlfriend, Chicky, isn't here yet. Oh, she'll be here any minute. She's just never been a very punctual person. Mm. Yes. Mm. I imagine that she's like, like almost part of the family because you guys are getting married soon, right? Well, I should think so. I guess someday that's bound to happen.